Hi everyone and welcome back to the True Vine Connection channel. My name is Kim and I'm glad that you have come to spend some time with me on the day. Before we get started, I want to get some business out the way. If you have not already subscribed, please click that subscription button and hit the notification bell so that you can uh, be notified every time I upload another video. Once you have clicked subscribe, go down to the comment section and say I'm connected. Then I'm going to put your name. When I look in the comment section, see you, see your name. Put your name on one of these leaves and then I'm going to add your name to our True Vine Connection uh, family tree. All right, thank you so much. Now, let's get started talking about what we are here about today. I know I look a mess and perspiring all of that. It's hot, it's August, and I'm perspiring. So, I apologize. Okay, a uh, few videos back, we made a um, commitment uh, footprint. And we wrote on it what we are committing to. We know that as of August that we have what? September, October, November, December. We got four more months, but if we just want to start with August, we can add five. Say we have five if we doing all of August until the end of this year. And there are some things that we can get done before the year is out. We want to um, finish out some things that we've already started. Okay, so some of us have a hard time committing to things. Um, we procrastinate a lot, whatever the case might be. If that's part of our personality, okay. We are all flawed in some type of a way. However, if we want to move forward, we can't keep living in the past and doing all of that I'm not here I'm not a psychiatrist or psychologist or counselor I don't have credentials in that area however I am a mentor and so what I can do is encourage you to start from where you are and move forward okay some things we can't change one thing um, I heard Dr. Phil he says this all the time not even God can change the past I disagree with that God can change the past if that's what he wants because he's almighty, all-powerful, all-knowing. I mean, he can do anything but fail. What it is, is God chooses not to uh, change the past. What he does is he gives us a beautiful fu future if we connect with him and his plan. And he says about our past and our sins and all of the, the, the mess that we have in the background, he, he says that he chooses to throw all of that into the sea of forgetfulness. He ain't even going to remember that anymore. So let's throw that back there. We can keep beating up ourselves and living in the past and all of that kind of junk and we'll just stay stuck there. We're trying to get unstuck. This is what this channel is about. Okay, so if you did not make this footprint, maybe you might have thought you didn't watch the video go back and check it I'll link it in the um, description box below you might think that it's foolishness okay well whatever works okay so on here I put down some things that I was committing to okay and I put I commit to the following to lose 25 pounds this is what I plan on doing total my total weight loss that I want to lose I want to lose 80 more pounds, okay? But I'm committing to another 25. I've already lost about 40 now, so I'm committing to another 25. I'm committing to um, continue to grow this channel. I want this channel to grow as much as possible. What I would like to see is that I would have at least 100 subscribers by the end of this year. I would hope that it would be thousands and tens of thousands that even if they don't subscribe would actually watch the content okay I have a business that the Lord has given me and I'm working on that and I am working toward growing this business to become profitable okay so 
I'm whatever I need to do to get that going. I'm starting from where I am right now, doing what I can do to get it that way, moving forward. The next thing, going deeper in the things of God and in my purpose. And the other thing was to spend more quality time with my family. I Everything that I have committed to, I am working on those things. On the front of this, when we decorated it, it says, Because the Lord God helps me. I will not be dismayed. Therefore, I have set my face like a flint to do his will. And I know that I will triumph. This is from Isaiah 50 and 7. I will link that scripture in the description below. I know I'm moving kind of fast, but I don't want to be here for forever and bore you. So, this is what we are going to do. If you don't want to make that, get yourself a calendar book. Okay? A calendar Get yourself a journal. Get yourself a piece of paper. Get yourself a pencil. Write down five things that you are committing to. That you are going to work on. That's going to move you closer to your purpose. Closer to the life that you want for yourself. Closer to freedom. Whatever it is. I want you to write down those five things. Obviously some of these things we will not be able to get done before the year is out but we're going to commit to moving toward that some things are baby steps but taking any step is move that's going in that direction is positive move so that's what we're going to do just like I said for me I want to let's say you want to lose weight great Saying that you're going to start a diet Monday and all of that kind of stuff and all of that, forget about all of that. Today, just say, you know what? I'm taking one thing out of my diet and I'm leaving it out. Point blank, period. Not going back to it. If it's drinking pop, just say, you know what? I ain't, I'm not drinking any more pop. That's it. Don't replace it with something else that's just is, uh, car, uh, calorie laden. Just take it out. Become a water drinker. Period. You want flavor? Add fruit. But that's it. Not with artificial sweeteners or nothing like that. We're not trying to pacify or pet our issues and replace them with some other junk. We are serious, okay? So, taking one thing, if it's chips, take them out completely. We ain't replacing them with something else. We're just not having that. Period. If it's bread, whatever. Commit to walking. I don't care. A 10 minute walk. Whatever. Around the corner. It doesn't matter. Walking on your job. Commit to something. Okay? Spending more quality time. One of mine. Spending more quality time with my family. What does that look like? Hi. Can I come over? What are you doing? Let me go get my grandbabies. Let me go over there and see my grandbabies. Bring the grandbabies to me. Whatever that might be. It doesn't have to be major. But you do things. And then you build on that. Alright. What am I doing to uh, help advance this channel? I keep running into different types of technical problems. I'm sure anybody that's doing this run into different issues where they're not able to upload. Whatever the case might be. When I have something that I want to uh, do, I'm going to do it. Maybe it might not be the video that I wanted to upload, but it's something and I'm doing that. It's not junk. It's, I mean, you know, but it might not be all the content that I want. I got stuff lined up that, that's great content. Things that people want to see. Things that people want to know about. Having an issue getting it uploaded because of whatever. But I'm working on that. Okay? So, in the meantime, I'm doing what I can do. So, I upload the content that I can. What's the next thing? Uh, the business that the Lord has given me. Trying to make that become profitable. Any training that I need, any paperwork that I need to do, things, maybe I don't have all the money I need, but what do what can I do now? One thing, if you're trying to start a business, get your company name together, get a DBA doing business as, you know, register your company's name. I mean, you can do that, okay? Get an email. You don't want to use it until you actually work in your business. 
I mean, you can do different things. If you have a computer or maybe you just got some paper and pencil, um, design your car. That's something. Everything that we do brings light and life toward the things that we are trying to move toward, toward our goals. So if there's some training that you need, maybe you probably need to go back to school. Research that. And then, let me say this, if you already know the school, the place where you need to go, and you are already ramped up to go, sometimes it ain't that we need encouragement to do anything. I Trust me, I am extremely encouraged. I am not like, oh, I don't know. Listen, all I need to know is exactly what do I need to do. It's not about somebody encouraging me to do anything. All I need to know is exactly what I need to do. So once I know exactly what I need to do, then I, all I need to do is just get it done. That's it. So that's where I am. And some of you are in that same place. It's not that the reason you haven't um, done anything is because you're unmotivated. Sometimes you just don't know where to start. What is it do I do right now? Where do I start at? And sometimes it, that's that's the thing. So that's what we're talking about today. This is not about encouraging you to 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 get motivated. Most of us are probably already motivated. Like I said before, we just don't know where to start. Okay, so back to the thing. If it's school, well, okay, we're in August. People are going to start going back to school this month. So right now, maybe signing up might not be you know, the best idea because you're going to get caught up in all of that if you haven't already. Maybe you haven't already did your financial aid and all of that kind of thing like that to try to see if you can get some grants or loans or whatever the case might be. I do know this, that after um, doing my research and actually calling the uh, U.S. Department of Education, I found out that in October, November, that's when the new monies become start becoming available so then you can find sign up for your Pell grants and all of that and your loans and all of that and then that's when the maximum amount of monies are be available if you do right now you're probably going to end up having some out-of-pocket costs I don't know don't quote me on it but that's what I was told so start and mark in your calendar your journal your book October November I am going to go put in my FAFSA uh, application for Pell Grants and loans because I know that th that's for the 2019-2020 for the I'm sorry, 2020-21 um, uh, loan money, okay? So you want to do that in October or November, no later than December, so you can get ahead of all the other folks, okay? Or, you know, for each school, there's only so much money that's going to be allotted, so you want to get that money. The money that they have now is what's left over from what's happening right now. You know, you know okay, we got that. What else? I don't know if you want a new car I don't know what it is you need to do you want to move if you're trying to move you saying hey I want to move you don't know where you're going well one thing you do know is is that wherever you're going you don't want to take much of junk with you so start preparing yourself to move get rid of all the junk that you don't want to take with you throw it away if you don't need it Throw it away. If it's junk, throw it away. If it's usable stuff, give it away. Give it to uh, uh, the uh, disabled veterans or to uh, Salvation Army or whatever. Donate it to a local church. Maybe it's someone, a family or someone else that you know that could actually use it. But don't keep it. If it's junk, if it's trash, get it out and just keep so you know whenever you find out where you're moving to the only thing you have left is the stuff that you're taking okay maybe you're looking for a promotion on your job know what the position is find out exactly what the job description is and figure out what do you need to do in order for you to be in the best possible position to, to get the job Know who to talk to. Know who to ask for. 
and for God's sake, please do not go and um, start circulating around. Girl, yeah, I'm going to apply for that job. Keep that to yourself and pray and let the Holy Ghost lead you. There are so many things that we can do in order to prepare ourselves to be able to move forward. We just got to get going. So commit to something. And as I'm closing this video, once you make that commitment to God and to yourself, then find someone that you trust and talk to them. And then say, listen, this is what I'm committing to. And that's going to be the person that you are going to um, be accountable to. So it needs to be someone that you trust. Okay. Anything else that I wanted to say? Uh, no. All I want to say is again. Thank you to all of those who have subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you. If, again, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click that subscription button, the notification uh, bell. Feel free to comment below. I want to put your name on one of these leaves and add you to our True Vine Connection family tree. And until next time, stay safe, be blessed, but most of all, stay connected to the True Vine. Bye now.